All right, this is Link's Awakening DX Randomizer. I'm playing just the standard dungeon shuffle today, but we're going to be trying something a little bit different. We're going to be trying out the auto tracker. So there is an auto tracker available for BGB through Magpie, and we're going to be using that. Looks like it's already working. Very nice. Uh, I guess our first item we can get over is over here. Don't really have much else available to me. There's powder, okay. So powder's gonna let me get the beach item. Head on down to the beach. I will let them die so we can maybe get rupees from it. Getting a shovel, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna just use powder for like a lot of things here. shop. Just rupees in the shop? Okay. I don't have any rupees to use. Yeah, let's go fill up on powder. And then let's head to the forest. Yeah, we're definitely going through the forest here with the toadstool. Let's go ahead and do Taran real quick before I run out of powder. That's the one kind of bad thing about having powder as your first like bush breaker. Is you kind of have to play around it. You have to kind of play around like going out of your way. I'll take the Hark piece. Yeah, I'll take it for now. It's at least something. Don't know if I'll be back for that seashell. But we'll see. Right now, I fully expect our progression to be the toadstool. There's a sword there, okay. Give me a feather. We got Bow Wow, ooh, okay. Bow Wow? I'm trying to think of how do I get there. Oh, I guess I go back this way. Because I can get into D2 entrance right now. Using Bow Wow.
Of course, this is Dungeon Shuffle, so it's not gonna be D D2 necessarily. Oh, that's really, really good. Getting Boomerang helps me out a ton. Because now I don't even need Bow Wow. And this gives me some really good options. Right, D6, what can I do in here? Can I even do anything? I don't think I can. But I think because we got Boomerang, we can get a lot of, uh... Can I get drops from Boomerang? Maybe not. Trying to figure out how I get rupees here. Does that seem- Oh, I used the boomerang to get the sword. That's what we do. That's what we're doing right now. Imagine using a boomerang for, like, its intended purpose and not for combat. Alright, so now that we have sword... I can come back to this cave over here. And we can get the item in here. could also fall into the pit like 500 times. Okay. So, Rooster. So now that we have Rooster, things are going to be really interesting. Rooster gets me over here. get me anything else in this area? Yes, it does. It gets me to Bow Wow. To the actual Bow Wow check. And then from here... I think we want to go backwards. Or back to town-ish. Now that I have a sword. I don't think so. There's the bow! Okay. Do I have access? No, I have to go the long way if I want to go that way. Which I should, because now that we have bow, we have access to things.
But yeah, this cave over here was the reason I wanted to come up this way. Got me the dog food, okay. Oh, I can use the boomerang to... And that got me the ribbon. Okay. That's actually really good. We'll heal up. Get our stuff, get our stuff back, and then let's go ahead and turn things in. So we turn in the ribbon. We get the bracelet. Okay. So that opens up like the entire world. Great. <laughs> bracelet opens up everything. Alright, let's, let's see what's in the trendy game. It's just an arrow upgrade, okay. Or, like, arrow refill. So we're not gonna worry about that. Is this a bomb cave or not? It's not a bomb cave. Oh wait, I can't go this way because I don't have bombs. I have to go the other way. I have to go the long way. There's another check I can grab over here. It's rupees, okay. I think the big thing right now is we just want to try and find bombs, or at least like access to other things. can't do anything with it yet, but uh, as soon as we get the flippers, we can do that. Oh, 
just check down here. Tail key! Okay. So it's another dungeon access. It's really good. Let me see, can I use Rooster to get over here? I think I can. No, I can't. And because we don't have... Yeah, we, we don't have a way to get through that. Oh, no, wait, we do! Oh, I thought there was more water there, for some reason. Like, deep water. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate this portal. We get two checks in the desert, and then we'll head to Tailgate, I think. I think that's probably our best bet right now. I want to do in this area? Not really. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything ahead and see what dungeon we've got. If I don't have anything good here... Okay, D4 is not exactly what we want to see. Because I can't get, like, anything here. Actually, there's what, two checks I can grab? Honeycomb? Okay. And a seashell. Right, because I can't use Rooster in dungeons. No. So the trade items might be our path to where we need to be. So I need to keep that in mind. As I head down this way. This will be a trade item we can turn in because we got the dog food. Got us the Ocarita. Okay. So we get another free item for talking to Marin. We're up to three seashells? Okay. Not terrible, but not amazing either. Oh yeah, I forgot, like, to do that, you just have to keep holding. Just keep going. It'll eventually take you down the stairs. Nope, come on, you can do it. Come 
on, Rooster. Thank you. Thank you. So we made pretty good progress in this area. Oh, I can't do anything else there. Yeah. But... I might not be able to do anything there, but I can do... something up here. A heart. And now... Yeah, now I think we go up and go into the, uh, the forest again. Oh, no, wait. Let's talk to Marin. Talk to Marin first. Okay, the letter... We take that to Dr. Wright, if I'm not mistaken. Which is on our way up here. Which is, this is good. We'll get a lot of good things done while we go up this way. And head up to the Tal Tal Heights. Hundred rupees, let's go. Got a heart container. Okay. Take that. Anything good in here? Let's find out. Piece of heart. Okay. Yo, what's up, Oreo? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need the rooster still. Coming up here. Got the Yoshi doll. Okay. So Yoshi doll, we can go back to town. What's LADX? Awakening DX or Deluxe. Uh, yeah, let's go Tal Tal at this point. There's not many other things that I want to tackle right now. And opening up that fast travel point is going to be good. Come on. I'll just, yeah. I'll just do it that way. That's fine. Uh, 
Uh, do I open up the fast travel? Yeah, I would have to come down here first to open up the fast travel. There we go. We don't have pineapple yet. The lens is over there. Okay. Does the lens get me anything? I don't think it does. I can get one item in Papaya's, um, Papal's cave here, right? Yeah, that, that's all we're getting there. And then I could do uh, Bird Key Cave with the rooster. this cave legitimately the way you're supposed to do it. It's just rupees. But you know what? With all these rupees that we're getting, we can open up the shop for a second item. Second shop item might be something. Though we can't really do anything with second shop item yet. Hey, red tunic's nice. Pocket Rooster is really, like, the best item right now. <laughs> We've just been going everywhere with it. Who needs a hookshot when you have a Pocket Rooster? Yeah, so there's two items here, and then after that... Uh, we're done here. More rupees. starting to think, let's go back to town. Let's start some, doing some stuff over here. It's just rubies. Okay. Shop is just rubies.
There's our feather. Okay. So now let's do Dream Shrine. Now that we have Feather, I'm starting to think dungeons might be a big thing here. Uh, D4? We could technically do a lot in D4. But... Yeah, I... It's hard to say where we want to go right now. Animal Village, there's the... the trade. The honeycomb. That got me the broom, which we can turn in right away. Because I know the, the grandma is also in town here. And she's going to give me... Bananas! <laughs> So we're just going in a weird trade order <laughs> for the entire trade sequence. So we're just going to go backwards and we're going to go to Candlelit Castle. Because Candlelit Castle has a good amount of items. Easiest way to get there. Probably going around this way. Alright, Kiki has. Rupees. Okay. I can't do a lot in Candlelight Castle because I don't have the bombs. Right? I don't have bombs to be able to do everything here. But I can at least do, like, the outside. But the inside stuff is going to be hard. And worst case scenario is we're going to open up the front door so we can come back here later. Like, I could do ball and chain. There's 
there's just the one that requires the bombs. Kami Frog Song. Ooh. Okay. That's really interesting. Yo, what's up, Snow? Thanks for the good luck. Alright, I think I'm finally in a position where I have enough rupees to want to fish the pond. And this gives me, like, some time to think about what else I want to do. I think going back to six kind of makes sense. Yeah, maybe going to six makes sense here. Because I can get some stuff done there. Oh, I can go into color dungeon. I can go into color dungeon. That's something I didn't think about until now, but because I have Bracelet, I can get into Color Dungeon Entrance. So we're definitely going to go there first. Because chances are that's going to be a better dungeon than either 6 or 4. Why are you so annoying? Okay, it's, it's D2. So this is a doable dungeon. Oh, I have to kill it. Okay. And there's Ballad of the Windfish. Okay.
Oh yeah, let me let me get this out of the way right now before I go anywhere else. Cause that's the nightmare key. Okay. Very, very nice. Yeah, the boomerang in this game is just like ridiculous. I wonder if that's the inspiration for <laughs> creating the magic boomerang for seasons. Because magic boomerang is pretty busted, but it's not like as busted as this one. Though I, I know there is a magic boomerang in uh, Zelda 1, which is probably the actual reason they created a magic boomerang for seasons. But yeah, the, the Oracle's base boomerang is just complete hot garbage compared to this one. Do I not have a key? <laughs> I need to open this up in order to go in there. Well, items in this game are just broken in general. Like, the feather's broken, the boomerang's broken. This is probably a key, too. Yeah. Is that the right order? Yeah. I always forget after Pole's voice what what comes next because I have not done this in a while. Uh, I can do this. I can do the jump. I love doing that jump. That jump is so cool. Uh, you, you can use the ocarina to kill it, but... It's just more fun to do it that way. You, and also, ocarina is slow. Like, any time that you use the ocarina... Like it's it's so slow to select it and then you have to wait for the entire song and it's just so slow. Yeah, I should have known at that point it was going to be map, because we didn't see map yet. But it's fine. That's our first completed dungeon. I don't really have a lot of good things left right now. Like, I could go finish four if I really wanted to. Um, let's go into six, since we're in the area. And just do as much as we can. Really? 
you're gonna do that. Fine. Uh, I didn't want to get it there. Okay. So because we don't have bombs, it makes this kind of awkward. Yo, what's up, Zach? Thanks for the uh, good luck. Oh, wait, can I get bombs from here? Does that work? It does not. sick. That is actually sick. Getting the level 2 bracelet in D6, that guarantees that we can beat this. Like, we can just straight up do this. Of course, I would like to have some more arrows, but we'll, we'll cross that when we get there. Um, wait, how does, how does this work again? Oh, it goes like that. Yeah. I was like, I know there's some way of coding there. Hibiscus, okay. Angler key. Now we're talking. First try horse heads. This is looking great. Oh, we can get, we can stock up on arrows right here. Oh, I, I can only get them once. Never mind. Uh, but we can use an arrow to get out of here. There we go. We don't have bombs. But, we do have this. So we can go over here. Uh, what else can I... Oh, is there a chest in that room? Oh, I think there's a, there is a chest in that room. Oh, I don't have enough things to kill them. Right, they don't die to powder. Yeah, no, they don't, they don't die to powder. I don't have enough arrows or things to kill them. So we're going to have to come back for that. Instead, I think we go to the other side. Oh man, I actually have to play the tile game here. I can't just invincibility do this. That's annoying. Once again, I don't have enough arrows. Well, I can get these arrows, but... Okay. 19. Yeah, I, I have enough now. with what I'm doing here. 
Bombs! Finally! Oh. After all of that, we finally got bombs. I don't know why that super jump is so hard sometimes. But yeah, now that we have bombs, this this gets infinitely easier for us to navigate things. Like, I should be okay to do I, I don't know if I'm okay for D4, but we could try it, right? There's no there's no harm in trying D4 after this. Because the only thing that really stops us there is like boss key in a bad spot that requires flippers. But otherwise, it's like not bad at all. That's boss key. Yo, what's up, Christo? Yeah, weekend's going pretty well so far. Hope everyone else is having a decent weekend as well. Oh, that! The bombs allow us to beat the dungeon, otherwise we wouldn't be able to. <laughs> if we didn't have bombs, we couldn't even fight Facade. bad at timing these. Alright, that got me a small key. So that's all the small keys here. Um, Do I have map and compass out of here? Because there's two items left. I don't know if I have map and compass. Go back in there and 
and just double check real quick. Yeah, we do have map and compass and beak and everything. So these are items, so I might as well get them. also going to be an opportunity to get more arrows. Oh, I, I should probably change this to the other the other direction. I can I can double double kill these. Yeah, there is a chest there. It's a seashell. Okay. Trying to conserve my bombs just a little bit here. Because I know we just got them. I don't want to <laughs> use up all of them right away. rupees. Okay. So we're done here. We can go ahead and leave this dungeon. Um, is there anything around here that I want to do? Oh, I got angler. Yeah, let's, let's turn in the angler key. That dungeon will be something. Curious what we'll find up here. If I don't see anything interesting in this dungeon, I'm just gonna go to four and just play it out without flippers. We just don't have the hook shot to be able to beat it. That's the one thing I'm a little concerned about. But otherwise, we should be able to do most of this dungeon. Because you don't need hook shot for a lot of it. Because you don't get it until very late.
Stick. Okay, we got the stick. I, can I get across here? I guess it, technically it's possible. Yeah, it's possible to get across. It's just not. Oh, there's nothing I can do on the other side anyway. I, I would need the hook shot to get across. Yo, what's up, Lotus? You're having fun torturing yourself by working on your uh, Seasons ROM hack? I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> done with D5. So you're making some pretty good progress. I feel like I can make this jump. Yeah. Uh, that is a four. So I'm reaching about the limit of what I can do without the hookshot here, or without flippers. I could do the final stuff of this fight, and that's about it. Well, I'm, I'm sure I could do some of this other stuff, it's just, um, requires some tricky jumps. Stuff that's not in normal logic. But then again, I don't normally pay attention to logic. I'll just kind of do whatever I want. That got me shield! Okay. That was worth it. 100% worth it. So now... Yo! Mage with the four-person raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. 
So yeah, now now we're going straight to four. Like, no doubt about it. Because we can do basically the entire thing without flippers. The only thing we can't do is uh, the boss. But yeah, getting that shield, like, opened up everything here. Like, that just tells me, okay, I'm coming here. So we're getting a lot of, a lot of really interesting trade items and stuff. Not going to really utilize too many of them right now. I'm probably just going to blow up the rock. I don't feel like dealing with this jump today. That's leaf number three? Is that right? Three, yeah. So Richard is almost in logic. There's two more leaves. I probably won't I'll probably do Villa Skip soon, actually. Alright, let's... Beak. Okay, we don't need Beak. That's really good. to do this? I actually don't know. Yeah, okay. Is there anything else down there? Was I not up against? Why do I not remember how to do this? Why do I not remember how to do this?
Cause it's that is the setup, right? Am I am I just not right about this? There it is. There it is. Why? <laughs> Why was it like that? I don't know. What was different that time? I guess that's what happens, you know, when you haven't played in like two months. Hookshot! Okay, so hookshot... That's big. That, that gives us the rest of D5. Alright, there's Nightmare Key. Uh, I'll have to come back here. Yeah, I'll have to come back, because I don't have flippers yet. Yeah, we're... we'll just leave. Right, is there anything else I can do here now? Not without flippers. Oh, I should have... I should have done the mini-boss. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Five was at four. So we can go finish that up. But I'm going to grab one more check while we're in the area down here. We finally got bombs. I can finally access the moblin here. Bow increase is good. Yeah, with Frog Song, we can get an item here. And that's Slime Key! Okay, so now we have another dungeon access. Let's go turn that in immediately. Yeah, now that I have Slime Key, I'm just gonna go go ahead straight into that dungeon. The chances are... Whatever dungeon this is, is gonna be a good dungeon. Cave is now doable. So we're, we're missing flippers, rod. And a couple keys. And that's about it. Then we'll be in go mode. Oh, stick! We can use stick! Is this gonna be the moonwalk? Are we gonna get moonwalk because we were dashing into the cutscene? 
I hope so. Oh no. But that got me bombs. Okay. So since we're going over here, we might as well do vill Villa Skip. Now, Villa Skip much easier than the Jesus Jump. I don't know why. They're, they're essentially the same thing. One is, like, a lot easier than the other. So we want to come in here, because there is an item in this cave. And it was nothing. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to go back to 5 just yet, because there is still the possibility that the boss key is vanilla, in which case I need flippers. Okay. D8 is interesting. That's the second time today we've had that happen, where we get the vanilla item in the dungeon. I'll take it. Level 2 sword. Okay. Uh, do I have a... Do I have keys? I have one key. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine.
I love this thing so much. Oh yeah, we do have the hook shot now, so I can get this chest. Got me a key, okay. There is a chest out here, or an item out here at least. Seashell. There's also a warp point. So, if we may need to come back here, we now have a free warp back here. Yeah, that, that's actually really good doing Blano now, because that gets me back to the beginning of the dungeon. Whereas, because I went outside, it would put me at the top. And we want to be at the beginning. Because we want to go left side here. Left side has so many things. There's the boss key. So we can go beat this dungeon whenever we want. I don't know if I want to do right side. Right side is not fun. I might just do left side and then beat the dungeon. I guess I could do the beginning of right side here. How many items am I missing? I'm still missing a good amount. So I may have to do this, right? I 
might as well just clean out the dungeon while I'm here. And going right side is going to get me closer to the boss at the end. I forget which... which one I need to take. If it's this one or the other one. One of these pathways leads me to where I want to go. The other one doesn't. Uh, no, this is not the one that I wanted to take. It's the other way. Do I have to kill all these guys? Yeah. I have to fight you again. Ball mechanics in this game are so much worse than they are in Oracles. Oh no, that, that just leads me here? How do I get to that section? Do I just go... Oh no, I, I go north from, from here. Oh, well, at this point it doesn't matter. We're going we're going to the boss. Fine. Uh, because it is a Goomba. <laughs> this, this game has a lot of Mario enemies in it. Like, Bow Wow is a Chain Chomp. There's Goombas. There's Piranha Plants. Hey, even Kirby's in this game. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going to do the rest of this dungeon. Because getting there is annoying. Actually, it's not too bad, now that I'm thinking about it. If I take the portal, I can get there to the remaining sections, but that's come back later situation. Now...
Now I think I want to just go to, uh, the other side. Go to, like, Face Shrine area. And just do a bunch of things over there. Let's do Armos Pace. Why not? That's two items. And it's a fairly easy thing for us to do right now. One of the best items in the game. Yeah, we're probably dead. the rod makes this fight pretty trivial. Another arrow. We're probably going to be dead on our way out, though. <laughs> be here. Let's go to Animal Village. There's a handful of things we can do around there. I could do the wrap too if I really wanted to. That's two more items. Oh, we can talk to the goat because we got the hibiscus. Yo, Libram with the nine months. Appreciate it. As well. Welcome back. So there's two bomb checks over here that we weren't able to get earlier because we didn't have bombs. There's the flippers! There they are! Alright, now we can go back and we can go finish up five. I can do the dungeon at five entrance 
There's so much we can do now. Of course the flippers were here. Uh, I don't want to leave the one item in the desert, because I'm not coming back here. So we'll just do that real quick. It's just rupees, okay. So I think the route we take here is we beat whatever dungeon's in this area. And then we go back to finish four and five. I don't have the hook. Yeah, I don't have the hook to be able to do the fisherman. I can go here. Oh yeah, I forgot there's inv invisible enemies in that room. That's what you use the uh, magnifying glass that you get. Uh, th there's a dig spot here. Piece of heart. Item back. Leaf? Leaves don't matter. <laughs> We've already done Villa Skip. But this gets us access to a new dungeon. So this dungeon. a solid dungeon. I mean, at this point, every dungeon is going to be pretty good to do. Three is going to be solid. One is going to be really solid. The only thing we don't want to see is seven until we're in go mode, realistically. There's the hook! <laughs> Okay. We can go back and we can get the fisherman now. Pretty close on seashells, too. Up to 16 out of 20. Nice nightmare key, okay.
Yo, what's up, KC? Watch so many randos you've uploaded to YouTube at work. Keep you sane. Use cut of the pay. 1500 bits, thank you. Appreciate it. Don't know if the alert went off on that. It might have, but because, you know, it's a Zelda item chime, uh, it probably played at the same time as another item chime. And I just didn't hear it. But thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Uh, there's nothing over here. Mirror shield! Okay. So that officially puts, uh, D8 into logic. We, we weren't able to keep the the pizza power for the entire dungeon, but that's okay. Don't necessarily need it. Uh, how are we on keys? We have four keys. I'll do mini boss and then we'll head down. I think mini boss is probably. I, I could do. The... Yeah, I could, but I haven't done the Dongo Skip in a very long time, so let's not try that today. Let's just do the uh, all reliable. Kill one and leave. Alright, so that was a key. So that's all keys. Yeah, all keys here. All we have left is just the bottom floor. Another seashell. It didn't go to the ceiling. That's it didn't jump at all. That's really, really weird. Usually that thing jumps as soon as you hit it, when you split it apart, but I'll take it, it's fine. Alright, so we finished that, let's go finish up 4 and 5.
What's the best way for me to do this? Uh, oh, no, first. While we're here, we got the hook. We gotta, we gotta go talk to the fisherman. Yeah, it's really interesting how the uh, mini boss is coded for the Baldor moons. Like how they just let you kill one and then just immediately leave, and it kills both of them. What was that? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Oh no, we, we wanted to go home. There we go. Because we're going to go finish up four. Yeah, four is going to be really easy for us to finish. So because I didn't fight the mini boss here, we're gonna have to do some stuff. Um Yeah, let's go through here. Wait for him to jump, then jump down. Drop? The drop was the beak, so we don't need to do that. Um, yeah, now we just go to the boss. We've done everything else here. fight. We could potentially have a seed with no color dungeon. That's entirely possible. Alright, so... The next thing we do is we go finish up five, and then we head to eight. Or like, we head to eight entrance. We have access to it, now that we have Mirror Shield, even though we didn't really need Mirror Shield to get access to it. And hopefully that ends up being, uh... Either... Well, at this point, we want it to be one or seven. We're running into those situations with uh, ages where there's that one extra item that you may not need to use. Like, one extra key. 
because Color Dungeon isn't required. It doesn't have an instrument. So that's sort of like your D6 present type of dungeon, where it doesn't have a boss, like, it doesn't have an end associated with it. Alright, there's our Nightmare Key. So we didn't need flippers, technically. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted to go in. It's up here. That one. That was just a beak, okay. There's a couple items we weren't able to get earlier. So I'm gonna grab them now. Acorn. Now the only thing left is just the boss. Just gonna be easy enough. Not getting the four four hits, which is really bad. Now, now we can start getting fakes. Oh, we're good. Okay. Didn't have to worry about fakes. And there's bird key. Let's go! I think... I think we go up uh, to Bird Key first, and then we come back and do... do the other dungeon.
Because right, right now, we're in a situation where we could be in go mode. We don't know. We don't know until we find out what both of those dungeons are. What is this sprite? That's a weird looking sprite. That's number 18. Okay. I think going to Birdkey first is better. Just because it gives me a better chance of getting back up here afterward. Because going to D8 first puts me further away from Telltale Heights. Uh, I have the pineapple. Let's turn that in. If I find the other key, then it doesn't matter. If I find the other key, it doesn't matter which dungeon is which. Because I'll have access to everything. But also, going this way would set me up to go to Base Shrine, potentially. Like, if we find the Base Key, we could go- we could drop down, go to Base Shrine. Instead of going up to, uh, to D8. I'm playing as generic ages girl. <laughs> this is one of the characters from uh, from ages. She kind of looks like one of the the twins from uh, Symmetry City. Yeah. Alright, so hopefully this is one of the dungeons we have to complete. Uh, otherwise... We're on the hunt for the face shrine. Or the face key. We're potentially in Go Mode. We haven't found Color Dungeon yet. So, as long as we don't find Color Dungeon, we're in Go Mode. If we find Color Dungeon, we have to find the face key. Okay, Vanilla D7 is good. That's a required dungeon.
unfortunately, like, this is one of the longer dungeons, too. So... We may end up, like, clearing a lot of this. Depends on where we end up finding the boss key, as well. Ideally, we find boss key, like, super early. And maybe we even find face key, as well. Yeah, if we find face key, then nothing else matters. We're, we're good to go. Uh, we have to go to uh, D8 entrance. So, the, of course, like, the three dungeons are, like, super far apart. Alright, there's our boss key. Uh, my week was okay. Nothing too special. There we go. That took a little bit of convincing to do. Yeah, the card suits, they, they just cycle really quickly, and it's very difficult to do, or do consistently. Is that the right? I think I want it the other way. Yeah. I was like, is that the right polarity? Yeah, there we go. I'm really glad they introduced red and blue in uh, Oracles, 
to to signify like if it's up or down, rather than it just being the one direction or the one color every time. Because then you can just look at the switch and be like, okay, this is the right way to go. Otherwise, you have to actually find some of these blocks. that door so much. That door is like the worst. Because that door, if you're not careful, will wrong warp you. Generally, you don't have to worry about it. This soul is being a real jerk. Oh wait, I have to... I forgot, I need to drop down there to get the uh, ledge item. I always forget about this ledge item over here. So we're not finding the face key here, most likely. There's one more possibility here. So it's some good old horse heads. So it's not here, unless it's on boss. I guess it could still technically be there. It's just a key. Okay. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention to the, <laughs> the key count. So we just basically follow the, the normal route here. There's no reason to deviate.
Oh yeah, I forgot Marin's here now. Sorry. Don't have time to uh, talk to you today. Uh, does the magnifying lens give me anything? Don't remember if the Zora does anything. Like, that's the only thing that I'd be able to use it for, is to talk to the Zora. I think that's just for a picture. Yeah, it's just for a picture. Great use of the mirror shield. 10 out of 10 would use the mirror shield again. Color dungeon. We have to find the <laughs> the phase key. There's a final leaf. Don't really need that though. What are the odds we find it in here? I think the odds are somewhat decent, but uh, there's still a lot of places in the overworld we could go. It doesn't necessarily have to be here. Yeah, I had a potion from a long time ago. <laughs> I actually got two potions. Of course, you know, the potions don't stack, so I don't have a potion anymore. Oh wait, there's, there's something up here, right? Yeah.
Well, I don't know if you can even get the GBC version to run on a DMG. Like, I don't think it's physically possible. There, there might be some way around it. Oh yeah, I actually remember the solution for this. <laughs> I love remembering solutions. don't even have to try in that fight. Got the map and compass. So there's literally nothing here. Cool. Um, where could I go now? Okay. So the next place I want to go is... I want to go rafting. Actually, first I want to go swim here and get the one item that I didn't get earlier. Just the blue tunic, okay. Now I'm gonna go rafting. Because the way I see it is this leads me towards where I want to go. And if we happen to find the key, then that's really good for us. But if not, it's not a big deal. There's other things we can do after going that way. Capacity is cool. And that's garbage. I wish there was a faster way to get through here. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to go around this way. Because we want to get into the seashell manor. Because we have over 20 seashells which is the requirement for the item here. And the item is... Mambos, okay. Mambos isn't bad. Uh, 
where's my boots? There you are. Oh, I haven't done the moat yet. I haven't done the moat. We can go swimming. For a very long time. Let's go swimming. I think there's a way into the moat from over here. Time to swim. So where do you think the face key is going to be? There's only like a handful of places it can be at this point. There it is! <laughs> we'll just swim back because <laughs> we're already near near the entrance and this is probably faster than trying to warp uh, I don't know I'm trying to think of like what warp I would take possibilities that other warps might be faster than swimming there. But mostly swimming. And after all of that, we finally are reaching Dungeon Dungeon 1, all we gotta do here is find the boss key. And a couple small keys and we're good. Yeah, that's why we saved it for last. It's obviously the hardest dungeon. How many small keys I need. I think I'll be good. For sure. By the time I find the boss key. Yeah, I <laughs> I've got my small keys. Now I just need to find the boss key. Not a boss key. It's gonna be vanilla boss key, right? It could be. Or it's on uh, the four of a kind. Or 
or th it's three of a kind in this, right? There's usually three together. It's been a little bossy. Yeah, the remake is really good. I really like the remake. Though the speedrun got a little, uh, a little weird at some, some points, but otherwise it was a fine game. I do kind of want to go back to playing it again at some point. Oh, a seashell to top it all off. Yeah, if if devs just implemented a randomizer mode into games, it would give games like infinite replayability. And I think they kind of started with that with the the dungeon creator mode, right? I can I can do this. I can do this. I haven't done this in like years. <laughs> this route. Wow. When's the last time you used Mambos to get up to uh, the windfish? But yeah, if if devs just implemented a randomizer mode into their games. It would just make things infinitely replayable. Fine, I'll play the actual game, actual song. Yeah, not every game can, uh, handle a randomizer. Like, but Zelda is, like, the perfect example of a really good randomizer game. The only problem with implementing that is they could extend the, uh, the dev cycle. Like, it's gonna take them longer to make the game if they try and implement a randomizer. But it would be a really cool idea to just have that as an option. Yeah, KH2 Rando is also, like, super good. I haven't seen a lot of it lately, but I've seen a few things, and it's, like, even better than it was. I just yeah, need to, like, get it all set up again, and then we'll, we'll play around with KH2 Rando again.
Yeah, the, the KH2 Brando depths are really good. Sonic is just insane. Like, he, he knows so much. And, like, I was looking at uh, Spike's stream earlier today, and he was playing some KH2 Rando. And there's a lot, a lot of little changes that are really interesting, like locked worlds and stuff. And like hit list rando. Lots of little things that could be really interesting to try out. But yeah, there we go. We finished in LEDX rando dungeon shuffle in 233.33 using the new auto tracker which I really like I really like this auto tracker didn't have to really think too much about what I was doing pretty much just see a dot and go after dot Pretty easy to follow. The only thing is we had to use VGB for this. Uh, we couldn't use it in Biz Hall. It's not a big deal. VGB is still a really good emulator uh, that I used for a very long time before switching over to BizHawk. As for the seed itself, it was fairly interesting. There were two dungeons that had vanilla items, right? We had um, a vanilla bracelet, and we had vanilla rod. We got a lot of use out of the rooster early on. Um, flippers were fairly late. And then we ran into that situation that we run into all the time in ages, where we're in pseudo go mode. But we just have to check the dungeons, and of course, the one dungeon that we needed was locked behind the one item we didn't have. Instead, we found the color dungeon. Color dungeon is that like troll dungeon in this sort of like a D6 present. And then, of course, the face key ends up being on the, the long trek in the moat. I wish that item check was a little bit easier to get. It just takes forever to swim all the way around the moat. I have to play around with the audio settings because I've been noticing a little bit of like clicking noises and chirping. So I'm not sure what's causing that. But it's probably something with the emulator that I have to set up or fix. We got 205 out of 224. That's pretty accurate, yeah. Because there wasn't many things left. We had a couple items in E, and then like a handful of overworld things. I do have to say, I like having a stat screen at the end. 
between this and the, the Minish Cap one is better, though. Because it, it gives you a full breakdown on all your items and, like, time collected and enemy defeated and what time you defeated this boss. Like, there's a lot, a lot more detail into the stats at the end of Minish Cap. But it's still nice to have stats like this. Oh, we got true ending. Because we didn't die. 